Radio trustee Mark Chamlin, who is matching every dollar you give with a dollar more for WNYC. So allow that contribution of $10 a month to become $20 a month, that contribution of $100 to become $200 a month. Don't miss the opportunity to get in on this match and see your contribution go that much farther for WNYC. The number to call to do it is 888-376-9692. Again, 888-376-9692. You can check out all of the thank you gifts and make a pledge online too at WNYC.org. That's WNYC.org or you can call 888-376-9692. Whatever is easiest for you, we make it we make it easy for you. And if you go online, as George said, you can see some of those wonderful thank you gifts there as well. WNYC's familiar voices you love are with you all week long, all day long. Discussions with elected officials on the Brian Lair show, interviews with artists on all of it and conversations about the issues on notes from America and so much more you get from WNYC. That's why we're asking you to support us this morning by calling 888-376-9692 or pledging your support online at WNYC.org. Your contribution right now will be worth twice the amount that you give. You give $5, it becomes $10. You give 100 it becomes $200 thanks to our New York Public Radio trustee, Mark Chamlin, who will match every dollar you give with one more dollar to WNYC. What a time to give, George, and to say, I support what I value, I support what I listen to, I support what gets me through the day. For sure. You might be thinking, I will make that contribution later. No, don't do it because that dollar for dollar match won't be on the table. So let me ask you, when would that be? It's not the kind of thing that goes on the calendar. And as much as you rely on WNYC, it probably won't be top of mind when you're not listening. So make that contribution now. You've decided it's important to support WNYC. Please take two minutes now to get it done. All we need is some basic contact and payment information, and you're done. 888-376-9692 or online at WNYC.org. And thank you so very much. WNYC supporters include Explo, a summer enrichment program for kids and teens entering grades 4 through 12, in Boston, Berkeley, London, New York, and Oxford. More information is available at explo.org slash summer. Mount Sinai, where experts at the Mount Sinai Fooster Heart Hospital are advancing research to take on the number one killer of both women and men, heart disease. More at mountsinai.org slash heart care. We find a way. Mount Sinai. Democracy in a desert near D.C. Marketplace Morning Report is supported by Progressive Insurance. The Name Your Price tool provides a range of coverage options. Progressive.com. Price and coverage match limited by state law. And by the podcast Ripple, a new investigative podcast from Western Sound and APM Studios. Listen now to Ripple. Hello, I'm David Brancaccio. I've been traveling to what are called news deserts in Super Tuesday states to hear about the business models that are failing or informing voters as they go to the pool polls on Tuesday. Today, voices from a desert only an hour's drive from the center of American politics. It is this newspaper's desire to print all of the news throughout King George County. And to a paper end, called the King George News. For your convenience, we have secured correspondence in every section of the county whose names are not hot article. off the presses, but yellowed in a museum. It's from June 1948. Renee Parker, I'm uh, currently the president of the King George Historical Society. That vintage paper bit the dust decades ago. The last local paper published in this county was a different one called the King George Journal. Joel Davis was the final editor and publisher who valiantly kept things going for about a year till the final edition in 2017. When I first got the job, three of the largest advertisers called within a month and, you know, pulled their advertising. And I asked why, and they said, well, you know, it's free on Facebook. Can you beat free? Well, obviously not. Again, Renee Parker at the Historical Society, who once ran for county supervisor. Unfortunately, there are, you know, whatever percent of the population will get whatever they need off Facebook. So they're reading whatever, you know, somebody's hoping that they'll believe because they believe it, um, which can be good and can be bad. Uh, we see a lot of that in our local elections. 
The Freelance Star newspaper, published a half hour away in Fredericksburg, does have an ace reporter named Kathy Dyson, who gets over here when she can. It's owned by Lee Enterprises, which has papers in 25 states, and its staff, like so many newspapers around the country, given low ad revenue, is much reduced nowadays. Here's King George resident Lynn Pardee. I do family law. I work with children mostly, and um, I work down in Montrose. Half hour away. And they have papers down there. I can read and know what the kids are doing at the high school. I can read what's going on locally in their government. My name's Kara Gonzalez. I recently finished my a four-year term on the local county school board. A lot of reporters doing sustained coverage. What was your experience in terms of news media interest? I'm going to say none, but I'd have to think about whether or not that's accurate. So you mentioned the Freelance Star, the Fredericksburg paper. Um, I'm trying to think. We probably made a couple, maybe an article or two in there, maybe. Well, my name is Ed Jones. I spent the first 18 years of my life living on the Navy base, which is the largest employer in King George County. Stand by. Valentine's will be three. That's archive sound since the weekend we visited. Crews were not firing their tests down the Potomac from Naval Surface Warfare Center Dahlgren. From the time I was in high school to almost 50 years later, I worked at the Freelance Star newspaper in Fredericksburg. I had just about every position at that paper you can think of, from film critic to uh, editorial page editor to editor. It's ironic that the county is larger than it's ever been, more complex than it's ever been, and yet the news resources are depleted. Even with smartphones full of information. It has to be credible information. So how do you determine whether it's credible? Well, back in the day, if you trusted your local newspaper, they're not trying to throw me a curveball. Some newsstands here display the Northern Neck Sentinel, a free publication from two counties over. The online edition we saw had headlines comparing, quote, leftist violence to 1930s Germany and a headline, illegal aliens invade region. There was an item of local news from King George about county supervisors getting sworn in. This evolving media landscape places burdens on residents. My name is Adam Simonoff, concerned citizen live in King George, Virginia. Since 1983, I'm a retired engineer. I used to do my thing for the Navy. Force protection basically teaches us not to talk too much about it. You have a theory that um, people create their own news deserts? Yeah, I do. I think that if you don't want to look at mainstream media and then compare it to other media and you only want to look at something that you agree with, You've now blocked yourself off and you've created your own news desert because you're not checking. You're going to listen to perhaps what a politician tells you, and you're not going to listen to what a news reporter tells you. Tomorrow, a publisher who had to pull the plug on the local newspaper he founded. All of our Democracy in the Desert stories go to Marketplace.org. There's news this morning. The inflation gauge the Fed likes ticked down for January with personal consumption expenditures rising 2.4 percent in a year, excluding food and fuel. Stocks S&P futures have turned up three tenths percent. Marketplace Morning Report is supported by Affinity, provider of the CRM for the private capital relationship economy. Affinity knows who has the best relationship with the right startup. Affinity.co slash marketplace. And by Charles Schwab. Schwab believes every investor deserves to work with a firm they can count on, with financial consultants ready to serve clients and 24-7 live help.